Good evening, YouTube. Been a little bit since I last made a video bringing you an update. This thing, I ran into an issue. So I swapped everything in, got everything hooked up, uh, this and that, and it was a crank, no start. I wasn't getting anything. I was getting a 12 volt signal to the fuel pump, but I wasn't getting the command when you turn the key on ignition to prime it. Now, I, it took me, I worked on it for two days. I tried jumping stuff. I tried fucking hot wire and stuff. I tried this, I tried that. I was working on this fucking thing until 11.30 last night trying to, you know, work out some electrical issues. Well, long story short, I talked to my buddy who I've known for well over 10 years. And I told him what was going on and this and that. Well, this chassis harness i don't know what it's out of i assume that it was out of this coupe but that's that's a far-fetched hope because if if you know these cars you know these cars us 240 owners we don't we don't keep sh shit in the same location so and then the bay harness was from that 93 vert now i thought that it'd be just a simple drop in and go not the case now, what was happening was there was a communication issue between the two harnesses, and that was my issue, ultimately. So, what I did was, I asked him, I'm like, you know, all right, so how am I going to fix that? And he told me that I basically need an entire car harness from front to back, bay and chassis harness out of a complete car that's never been split. I'm like, well, that's like finding a needle in a fucking haystack. That's the needle. So it just so happens that the hatch that I have right here that I parted out had a single cam in it. Um, it had a complete bay and chassis harness. Never came out of the car. Original 89, 225,000 miles on it. So I spent probably about an hour or two taking the bay harness out and the chassis harness, removing all the clips all nice like, and then uh, tonight, after everyone went to bed, I did the same thing to this one. I took the bay harness out. I took the chassis harness out. I had that out much quicker because I didn't give a fuck about that. And then I proceeded to transplant the harness out of the hatch into the coupe. Now, it's a single cam car. This is a dual cam car. Everything plugged up. The only plugs that I have to modify are for the speedometer because... The engine harness is a brown plug, but the chassis harness is a white plug. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the brown plug off of the chassis harness out of the car, out of, out of the coupe. I'm gonna re-splice it, re-pin it. That way I can get my, uh, my um, speedometer back. So I hooked everything up, hooked the battery up, ding dong, you know, the whole nine. I went, turned on the key, heard the fuel pump prime, prime for probably five seconds and then turned off i was like yes so i had key on ignition now i went to turn the key all the way over to start it nothing happened i'm like well what what the fuck and then i remembered back to my second 240 i've ever owned it was completely stock you had to press the clutch down in order to start it and that was the only plug that i didn't plug in plugged it in press a little button down turn the key turned right over so this thing is it's ready to fucking rip. So, so it's a single cam. Everything is single cam, so far as wiring. The bay harness and the chassis harness. I have to redo some plugs for the headlights and stuff like that. This is a new, brand new wiring specialties uh, alternator starter sub harness that I you know, plugged in. And I forgot to plug those relays in, but once I did that, it was kosher. But dual cam igniter because it's separate from everything else. Now, when I plugged everything in and stuff like that, I went, now the, the freaking dome light works. Check that out. And also, I'm gonna give you a little, give you guys a little nostalgia real quick. If you know, you know, 
and then an ambient light or something. I don't know. So yeah, it's got the radio harness and everything. So hopefully next video, it's gonna be me taking this thing for a rip. I still gotta hook up the brakes. I gotta believe the brakes. Uh, the e-brake is all hooked up. Um, I don't think I have any fuel leaks. I already tested that. Now I gotta put the interior in and clean it and then paint it. But yeah, super, super happy. Super happy. Check, I'm redoing these headlights, look at this. So I took all the headlights apart. I refinished the bezel. I gotta steal the one off of that car because this one's broke. Um, actually it would be this, this one. I redid the, the housings, the covers. There's a little bit of damage, but I gotta wet sand these and clear these. And then I redid the, these things. And I got brand new inbox sealed headlights. So those are all nice and new. The motors all work. So pretty freaking sweet. Pretty productive weekend, not gonna lie. Finally had two days off consecutively. I'm just so happy that I got that. That's gonna make me sleep so much better. I would hook up the the spark plugs and stuff like that because I did hydro lock the motor somehow. Uh, and I take the spark plugs out to get the fuel out. I I'm tired. I'll, like I said, I was working on this thing till 11:30 last night, so I'm gonna save that for another day. Actually, before I do a first drive video, I'm gonna do a first start. It's technically not the first start of the motor, but it's the first start of the motor in this chassis. I also have the hub harness for the transmission, but I don't think this S14 transmission has any of the plugs. Not like that other transmission that's sitting in my garage. So, yeah, if you like what you see, like, share, subscribe, or please subscribe. Um, I need to get more, more viewers because I only have like 40, uh, 50, I don't know. But this is supposed to be going next week. I got someone coming for the shell. And then, uh, yeah, moving, moving right along. But yeah, if you have any questions or anything, just comment. I read all the comments. But, all right, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.